Now in this tutorial we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to look at components in this tutorial. So I'm going to make another new object. Um, it's just a new file and we will revisit the hard line, soft lines things later. Anyway, um, with this object here I'd really like to draw another object on top but I'd like it to be separate from this one. And if I try and draw an object and then maybe extrude this up you'll notice that it's kind of locked to it because it, it automatically intersected with it. And what I want to do is make it so I can draw another box that's sitting on top, which is a completely separate object. So there are two ways to do this. Number one way is to right click on something and make it a group. That means that I can now click on something on top and I can create a new object that's on the top and I now know that this new object is a separate object. To prove that, I can go and, and move it and you'll see that even though it's it's was created on top of the other one it's not locked to it because I have a group here and that's separated from the other geometry now a group is kinda cool but a group is not a um, component so I'm going to duplicate this group just by doing control C and clicking on it and moving one over and now I'm gonna um, right click on this and choose make a component now it didn't come up with the um, dialog box that I was hoping it would come up with and that's because it makes it using the fact that we have a group here and so it automatically made the component based upon the group so I'm going to double click or triple click rather on the box that I drew on top of this one and go to make component by right clicking and you'll see here it comes up with a dialog box which says you know what would you like to do what would you like to name this and so I'll call it small box and we can do some other things with component accesses. We can lock it to an axis and do all sorts of stuff, but I'm not really sure that applies. So I'm going to do glue to none. Well, let's just hope I didn't mess up all the accesses. Anyway, um, I'm going to do create and now I've got my my two different components. Now how do I know that they're a component versus a group? I don't really know. Um, but here's what I can do. I can go up to components, go to components in the model, and I can see the different components that I have here. So Susan is a component, and I could drag her out. So it's basically a symbol. And notice how Susan already, always faces the camera. That's that um, component inspector. If I were to go to the properties of this, I could do always face the camera, which is kind of interesting, because now anytime I move my camera, that, that component will actually face it. And that's good for components that are um, one-dimensional, meaning that they're flat. But three-dimensional ones, you pretty much never do that. Anyway, with this particular component, um, I can actually edit the component by going to the at the object here and selecting the edits the instances of it. So you can see it automatically selected that. I can select those instances. Um, I can edit objects or properties about it and statistics about it. I can see how many times it's used. And if I really want to edit it, here's what I can do. Whoops. I can double click on one of these instances. So I'm going to go back to my white arrow, double click, and you'll see that I can actually extrude and change this component and every copy of that will actually change with it. And that is, of course, what is awesome about using components. Now, you could even have two different components be slightly different. So if I had the scale tool, I could scale this and make it different than the original component and if I edit one component they're both going to change even though they have slight differences. Now this will actually relate to some stuff that we do with um, materials as well because you'll notice that I didn't apply any materials to this object and we'll be playing around with um, that with our components later but I should point out that you can get lots and lots of components you've got components all over the place and you can find hundreds of them online you just double click on your component with the arrow and you can edit the different parts and you can even search the library for more so you'll find them all over the place of course I want you to create your own components, but do take a look at the other components that are out there because they're quite cool. Thanks. Go on to the next tutorial.